Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today I'm going to do my video this way as I'm not looking or feeling my best and I've had to get these from the Amazon US website so as soon as they turned up I really wanted to do a review on them they turned up quite quick and they're only £11 which is around like $7.99 or something like that um, so that's really good that you can actually get your hands on these if you are from the UK and you don't want to wait till next year to get your hands on these. Obviously now if you bought them now from the U from the US website you'd still get them from for next year but early next year instead of late next year because we don't actually know when these are coming out for us in the UK so that's why I got my hands on them now so I could do a nice review on them I've already done one on um, Delta on my channel so please check that out so yeah I'm very poorly I can't pronounce things very well but this is the Jurassic World Dino Rivals figures these are the new wave they look absolutely awesome um, so that's why I've had to get my hands on them the packaging is looking very stunning Stunning and I've got the Dracorex here. Yeah? So I'm hoping that's how you pronounce this one. This one's very hard So just give me a second and I'll come back to you to learn the name So I'm going to attempt to say its name and I think its name's called the Rank Arancus. I'm not exactly sure if that's pronounced right But these dinosaur names are really hard to pronounce. I don't think I'll be saying it anymore All I know is that these are two new dinosaurs what I've never been shown um, in the dinosaur movies, so I'm really excited for that. The new sculpt, new species, and I'm really, really happy to get these out of the packaging. The new packaging for the new dino, um, dino rivals. These are like the new attack pack, shall we say. So these look really cool. The packaging's in this really nice orangey colour with the um, skeleton of the T-Rex in the background. It's like a fiery red and it fades into this black. It says Jurassic World there. It says Dino Rivals there. And then it says the name. It's got um, the Triceratops T-Rex there and Owen there. Like I said on my Delta video, I'm not happy that they've just put um, Owen in the front of the packaging there. And then on the back is the scan code for the Jurassic World fat app some of the other figures i've got this one coming as well um and then i've done all of them so yeah there's the barcode there if you want to get that it says mattel there and i kind of like the setup i've done today for this video so without further ado guys i'm going to get these two out of the packaging so guys i've got these two out of the packaging and now I'm going to show you the cards. If you didn't know by now, Dino Rivals come with these attack cards, shall we say. Um, which look really cool. The artwork on this one looks really nice. I like the red in the background. And then it tells you a few little stats here. So strength is 4. Speed is 6. Intelligence is a 3. And attack is a 3. On the back it says Dino Rivals. Jurassic World, and I think they look really cool just to collect and add to your collection. And then this card as well is in blue in the background, and I think the artwork looks cool on this one as well. And the strength is a 2, speed is 7, intelligence is a 3, and the um, attack is a 4. <laughs> This one feels like it should be, it's a little bit off, but I still think it looks cool. Um, so yeah, I like the tool, I like the fact that these come with cards. And just be careful taking them out of the packaging as they are taped in and you don't want to rip them. But first, I'm going to do my review on the one that I can't pronounce. So let's do this one. So I'm going to take you out of the frame. So guys, I'm going to start off with this one first. I think my overall impressions is it looks really cool. It's nice to see a new sculpt of flying reptilian from this Mattel line. Um, so, and a new sculpt for a new dancer altogether. And I think overall the colour scheme and my full overall impressions, I'm really happy with it. I love this mustard yellow on the, yellow, um, on the wings with a little bit of freckling. Going through the skin there and then some cream markings 
Um, just to finish it off, just to add a bit of definition, looks really cool. It's got quite a nice bit of articulation as well, which I'll get down to in a sec. It's got a nice bit of yellow what fades into this army green colour on its back. The sculpted mu muscle definition looks really nice as well. Um, I like the scale marks in its back, nice textured there, and then the wings the same here. Then it's got a little bit of yellow on that bit of the wing there, and then it's got a nice bit of feathering, detailing there, which looks really nice. It would be nice if they maybe added a little pop of colour there, but that's just me being picky. A lot of people was complaining about its teeth being a bit funny. When I first saw the pictures of this on, on Instagram, I did think the same as everyone else. But now that I've got it in person, I think it looks overall really good. I just think that looks really cool. I like the yellow bit on the jaw with the freckling bits going through this wings to the jaw, which looks really cool. And overall, I'm really happy with it. Um, I like the teeth now. I understand why people was a bit like put off by the teeth. But now that I've got it in person, the teeth look fine. Maybe why they did the teeth a bit blunt is because of safety reasons. I'm not sure. I know they did the spans on the spar um, oh, on the Spinosaurus. The spans on the Indoraptor, they had like bluntish spikes on the back. So I think it is for safety reasons. But I love the overall sculpt on this figure. I think it looks like a flying crocodile. And yeah, I love the painted red eye. It really makes it stand out. Now I'm going to get down to the articulation. So it can flap its wings up and down like that. It can actually rotate its wings all the way around. It can lift its head that far up and that far down and it can open its jaw like that a little bit or close so you can have it loads of different ways and its little feet are articulated a little bit like the diamorphodon so I think that's really good so you can actually place it down and make it land so you can actually make it land like that which I think looks really cool but my overall impressions with this little figure I think it's really cool um, there's the For The Facts app on there. So you can have a take a picture. I'll have a take the picture of this. So you can scan it right at the end of the video. Or you can just pause the video and scan it now. Um, is the Jurassic World logo there. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this figure. So guys, before I get down to showing you the Draco Rex, I just wanted to do a quick comparison with the other flying reptiles we've got here. So we've got the Tranodon from the Legacy line. The colour scheme looks quite similar to this one, the new one, with this yellow and army colours on the wings and on the body. Obviously, the wingspan is bigger on the Tranodon. And this is like the king of the sky. And then these ones are like the little minions that follow behind it. So they look really cool together with the colour scheme. And then we've got the Diamorphodon here. From the attack packs. And this is the wingspan on this one. So it's that little bit longer again. But still look really cool. All of them together look really cool. They'd look really good on, on a setup or like a display for photography. But one more thing I'd like to mention as well. It's quite lightweight as well. So for £11 I do think that it's still worth it. Because they are quite light toys anyway from the attack packs. But I've, this one is just a little bit lighter. But I love the fact that we've got a new sculpt, a new flying rep reptile, and I'm really happy with this one. So guys, I've got the Draco Rex here. I'm hoping I have pronounced that right. So I'm sorry if I haven't. Please let me know in the comment section down below. But my overall thoughts on this figure is it looks absolutely awesome. I love the sculpt. I love the fact that we've got a new dinosaur um, from Mattel. And I think it just looks really cool to add here, Jurassic World Collection. Um, 
I love the little lumps and bumps on its back. And I love the colour scheme with this sandy, beachy colour on its back fading into a bit darker on the top of its thigh. A little bit of muscle definition here. And then this dark striped browns look really nice as well. A little bit like tiger stripes going down its tail. And then it's got a really lovely painted yellow eye as well. I don't know if that's picking that up there it's got a really nice um brown stri um, stripes in its around the eye what just gives it that extra bit of definition lovely sculpt of lumps and bumps going down its ridge of its nose and then i love the like horns on its head horns or spikes on its head what are painted in this really nice burn color like a really light gray color and then it fades from this sandy color into this grey colour underneath its belly with bits of freckling going through the paintwork and then it fades from the bottom here into white back into this sand colour and then stripes on its tail here but overall I think the sculpt on its head looks really good I would have preferred it maybe if they could paint the bottom of its feet but if you're good with a customising with a little bit of brown pen or black pen that would be great, that would just um, really add to it. But that's just me being picky. I still think overall this figure is such a cool figure to add to your Jurassic World collection. I love the browns with the stripes at the bottom of its thighs there. And overall I just think it looks cool. So now I'm going to do, uh, I will do like a comparison with Stig 8. But I'm going to show you its articulation now. So it can lift its head that far up. That far down, it can rotate its head side to side like that. It can pretty much just go all the way around. It can move its arms up and down like that. And it can even move its neck down and neck up. So that's really good. They've added a little bit more articulation in the Dino Rival ones. And then you can move its legs like that. So you can do a real good running action. And then the same on this side. It's quite stiff because it's come out of the box. And then it's got a swivel in its tail as well there. I would have liked it maybe they could maybe have done a joint there. Just to move it side to side. But it still looks really cool. I love the sculpt in the tail with these little lumps and bumps there. But yeah, really happy with this figure. It's got really good articulation. Really good colour scheme and yeah so now I'm going to do a comparison with Stiggy there's the Jurassic World Facts app card on the bottom of its foot there and there's the Jurassic World symbol on the bottom of its foot there and there's the hinge for you to move its neck up and down like that and then its little arms move pretty much all the way around so I'm going to do a comparison and then I'm going to end this review so guys, I've got another little dinosaur guest with me and I've got Stiggy and the Draco Rex here and I think they look so cool together, standing side by side. Um, I just wanted to show you them because I think they look quite similar with the um, little spikes on the head. They've got a similar stand together. Oh, they can got a similar stand together and they've also got like these browns going on brown coloured schemes going on and I just think overall they just look absolutely so cool and I'm really happy with them so I'm going to do uh, overall's thoughts now so I'm just going to take a sticky away oh, and I feel like they stand pretty much the same size as well so that's really cool they'd look really good in like photography or playing action head button action so I'm just going to end the review here. So I'm going to put this one here and this one. And I hope you can get your hands on these. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, please give this video a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to my channel. That would be really helpful. More Jurassic World stuff go coming up on the way. Um, 
if you're from the UK, get your, get yourself onto the Amazon US. It's really good. It only takes up to about 10, less than 10 days or 10 days at the most. And they're only £11. They don't charge you any more. And I think it's really good. So remember what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. These figures would be great to add to your Jurassic World collection. And like subscribe to my channel i do a big mix of range of toys on my channel um remember scan them into your Jurassic world facts app and i think i'll see you on the next one guys and if i don't see you before christmas i hope you all have a brilliant christmas and i'll see you on the next video guys bye